In this video, we will focus on mapping of accounts. This is where the revenue and occupancy data from the various source systems are linked to the different profit centers. It can be accessed from the main menu. There can be times that when you log on to PMI, you see that there's an integration status message in red, displaying that perhaps accounts should be mapped. Click on this and automatically it connects you to the mapping module. So mapping of accounts is not a daily task. It's performed in the first month of implementing PMI at your property. It can happen when you change or upgrade a source system, or if there is a change or even a new general ledger account, or who knows, even a new department that has been created. This is restricted access, so it's quite possible that only the financial controller and the general manager at your property has access. As in all other modules in PMI, all text with blue font has a drop-down box. So if you have access to several properties, choose the correct one you want to work with. In the view options, you can decide which accounts should be displayed, accounts not yet assigned to a profit center, accounts assigned to one or more profit centers, and accounts that should not be mapped in PMI. Only incoming revenue accounts are mapped, not payment or transfer accounts. Then you have show accounts, here you select the type of account to be displayed. Historical data, yesterday's revenue, or future reservations. A third option appears here, if you have PMI planning. This will allow you to view accounts using your accounting system. When logging into this module for the first time, activate Filter. This enables you to sort from the Dropbox options. So on your left-hand side here, you have Sources, to the right, you have PMI section. So the interface is where the charge originates from. You have your department ID, as well as account ID, and the name of that specific account. On the right-hand side, where is it going to in PMI? Choose the correct account from the drop-down box. A few colors to perhaps take a note of, as this depends on the status of the charge, red as it is right now, means that the charge needs to be mapped or ignored. It usually turns green when you are mapping it and then light blue when it's completed and mapped to a profit center. The color gray is an ignored account. This is an account not used in PMI. It can be a non-revenue item. It can also be a revenue that is going to a third party, for example, parking at your property. And it also depends on the setup in your general ledger accounts. Let's take a quick look at the various icons. An account that is already mapped has a locked icon. Activate it to open if you need to make any changes to it. The money bag represents revenue. The suitcase represents room nights. And the icon over here represents guest nights. The cutlery icon the knife and fork, is activated when it's a food segment. Then, by clicking on the three dots, you have a variety of options. Exclude in total. This is only visible for segmented profit centers. Let's say rooms, for example. If you forget to exclude revenue in the market codes for rooms, then this figure will double up. You are able to add comments. Split mapping enables you to split one source into two or more profit centers in PMI. Add valid dates. This is used if the account's value will be mapped differently during a period or from a specific date. Split percentage. This is used to determine what percentage each individual mapping should get. So here are two examples of charge codes that has populated into the system that needs to be connected then or linked to a PMI profit center. So the first one here is from reception and it is a sales spa entrance. And then you have another one that is for other operating expenses. So here, what you would need is to know which profit center it should connect to. And you do that by choosing from the drop down box on the right hand side. A couple of things to remember when mapping. If it's a revenue account, then you need to make sure it's connected to a segment and not a total. For example, rooms revenue should be mapped to the hotel and total. Other revenue 
needs to be mapped to a department and specific segment. And on the books accounts and rooms or guest files mapped to the hotel and specific segment. And as always, don't forget to save. More information can be found in the Knowledge Base article. Thank you and take care.